Uh, sledding season's almost here. What's going on guys? Just out here in the shop getting the sleds ready for this season. Figured before sledding season's here, I'll just do my uh, top five baits from, uh, or lures, whatever you want to call them, from 2020, right from bass opener through to fall. Let's go. So the first one I'm going to talk about caught me fish right through bass opener all the way through till I'll say early fall and it's jigs these jigs are new um, you've seen in a couple of my videos they're MT custom jigs made by Mike Talon uh, he's a good buddy of ours he started making jigs this year and obviously I was going to give him a go extremely impressed with these jigs um, Really, I stick to black blue for my jigs. Doesn't seem to matter where I go. Um, black blue always works, whether it's clear water, stained water, dirty water, any water. Um, I prefer half ounce. And he makes a bunch of different color variations. Oh, I'm not sure if it's showing up. Um, if... I wanted a bit of a slower fall. I, well, I guess we'll talk about trailers quick. Two trailers is really all that I used this year. The first one is a Guggen Bates Crack and Craw. The second is a Jackal Archelon that's cut down. Um, and basically, one's a faster fall, one's a slower fall. Um, as well as the Archelon's obviously a little bit more compact than the Kraken Craw. Um, as for the colors, he he makes a ton of different colors. Um, the black blues, he has, I think, four or five different variations. Some with like a live rubber skirt, um, some with tinsel in it. This one's pretty well all black with a few strands of blue. This one's more of your traditional black blue, I guess with metallic. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite colors that he makes. And extremely impressed with them. Uh, no chipping whatsoever on the heads. Uh, they're hand tied, every single one of them. So you're never worrying about a skirt. coming. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but maybe uh so you're never worrying about skirts coming apart or falling down or anything like that um with rattles he makes them without rattles um yeah everything right through uh i don't think he's making quarter ounce yet he might be but football jigs uh three eighths half ounce three quarter football jigs all the way through i think he makes ounce and a half he's got tungsten so he's got a full lineup of everything. So make sure you check him out. I'll leave a description in the comments below or in the description below. And uh, yeah, definitely go check him out. He works at Gagnon's. He's probably got jigs with him there to show you if you wanna buy some or just check him out. So make sure you do that. So the second, this again, was from opener all the way through till early fall. And it's a Mega Bass Okashira head, screw head, with a haze dong. This bait saved my butt I don't know how many times throughout the whole year. Uh, if it was a super tough day, slow day, you'd pick this up, you'd be going to catch something. Um, very, very impressed with this uh, jig head, as well as these swim baits. For the most part, they're pretty durable. Um... Went through a ton of them this year because they flat out catch fish. But definitely, if it was a slow day, pick it up slowly, 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 reel it in, and you were bound to get bit. So that's the number. That's the second top bait of uh, 2020 for me. Again, so Kashira head, screw head with the uh, haze dong. It also makes a great drop shot bait, also those haze dongs. So the next one I'm going to talk about, I say I want to do more and more every year. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite ways to catch them. But uh, for whatever reason, 
I don't do it enough, but that's pitching, uh, pitching into heavy cover. Um, kept it pretty simple this year, either a three eighths ounce, just on a flipping hook, straight shank, or a skirted punch skirt, three quarter ounce, again, onto a flipping hook. I use a troll car, TK. Good job, Bryce. TK 130s. Uh, great hooks, super strong. And uh, yeah, as for baits, this year, either the Bandito Bug or the Kraken Craw. Um, so basically, if I was flipping, I'm going to say lighter cover, reeds, uh, edge of lily pads, or whatnot, I was going to flip with the 3 8 ounce. As soon as I was getting into that heavier stuff, um, I was going to the 3 quarter ounce punch skirt. Gives it a little bit more bulk and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I definitely, this year for 2021, I want to spend a lot more time doing it. Um, I live on Scugog, barely fish Scugog all year, and uh, definitely I know that's where some big fish live is under those mats, so hopefully next year, <laughs> I do hate Scugog, <laughs> I do, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely one of my favorite ways, caught my PB doing it, and uh, something I, I always say I gotta do more and more and more every year, but for whatever reason, I just go to that offshore stuff now and uh, I gotta I gotta start flipping for big large mouth again so now we're into that fall um, I'll say fall transition to mid fall we'll call it uh, crankbait as you can see this one's all eaten up took a week off for holidays Caught every single fish all week long on this particular crankbait. Don't know how many times I retied just so I didn't lose it. Um, and retrieved it from getting stuck and whatnot. But this, I love crankbait fishing. Grew up crankbait, crankbait fishing. And it's another thing I don't do enough of. And this year I decided to take holidays um, in October. So it was definitely the middle of what? Jumping. It was um, in that middle of fall towards the end of our fall, I guess you could call it. Um, caught countless fish all week long and there's just no better feeling to set and hook into a, into a fish on a crankbait. So this is a 5XD in the purge color and uh, definitely was a fun week of fishing. So last but not least, this is pure late fall, early winter, I guess you want to call it, the blade bait. I'm late onto this game. All my buddies have been fishing it for a couple of years now. And uh, this year I decided to pick up a couple. Hard to find, by the way, up here, but maybe everybody already knows the steel. But anyways, was able to get some, went out and had an absolute stellar day. Probably my best day all of this year. Um, by far my best fall day ever fishing. Caught probably easily 25, 30 fish. Uh, ended up putting together a 21 pound bag for my last day on the water this year. And this thing was just lights out. This one is just a Cabela's actually blade bait in the gold color. Let's see if I can get it better. And uh, it was awesome. Um, a bunch of my buddies always talked about how good they were and well, Grant caught a lot of fish, a lot of our fish on it in that last tournament we fished together. So anyways, they're, they're definitely a fish keeper or catcher in the fall. And, uh, yeah, definitely next year. Now that I got some of these things, going to fish them a lot more and what a fun day that was. So that wraps it up for 2020. Those are my top fives. Uh, I highly recommend you pick up that Okashira screw head with that haze dong if you're having a very slow day. You're bound to catch fish. 
Um, the most fun I had all year was definitely fishing Mike's jigs. There's something about receiving a couple at the beginning of the year that only a couple of other guys had. And first fish of the year, nice three pound largey. And pretty well all my fish that first day came off Mike's jigs. After that, like I said, throughout the whole entire year, they just flat out caught fish and never had an issue with them. As I said, they're hand tied. Your skirts are never coming apart. They're never sliding down. Uh, even your trailers, I really, other than a fish biting the claws off, I never even really had to adjust a trailer. Um, the heads, like I said, they're super, his, how he powder coats them and bakes them and all that. They're, I didn't even chip a head this year, which is amazing. And I'm pretty rough on the jigs, skipping them and banging them into rocks and whatnot. So definitely go check Mike out, check his jigs out. Like I said, he's at Gagnon's. Um, He'll probably have his jigs with him if you want to buy a couple or just check them out. And like I said, he's got a thousand different color variations, style of jigs, whatever you're looking for. Mike's got them. Definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Learned a lot in 2020. Hopefully 2021 is a lot better. Um, had some definitely ups and downs, but hey, that's fishing. Till then. Time to get these sleds all done. Got a trip booked to go up to Cochran's. Snow's going to be here soon, so I'll be sitting behind the groomer down here. And uh, till then, leave some comments below. Let me know if you want me to go through some rods and reel combos or how I fish any of this stuff or whatever you want to know. Um, it's going to be a long winter. So till then, thanks, guys. See ya.